This Weekly Glam is featuring a sort of new palette that's on the market. It's been out for a few months now. It is the Revealed 3 from Coastal Scents. It is a small sort of slim cardboard palette featuring 20 different shades. Now if you're familiar with Coastal Scents brand, you know that they actually have a Revealed 1 and 2, obviously because this is the third one. The 1 palette is more neutral, taupes and things like that. The Revealed 2 is more pinks, and then this palette of course has more plums in it. I would say these are warmer violet colors than cooler, so you've got sort of um, more red violets and things like that than you would blue violets. These are absolutely my favorite shades. I think this palette is gorgeous and it gives you an opportunity to create not only sort of smoky purple eyes but also some more neutral uh, tones with the taupes and golds and things that are in here. I just think it's a really fun palette. Now I will say when I got mine, some of the shades were damaged. It comes with a plastic slip over the top and when I pulled mine out of the mailer, some of these were cracked. And I considered sending it back, but I didn't really want to mess with it. And I just thought, it's okay. I mean, it's not like I'm ever going to use all these colors anyway. And so I just sort of dusted it off and, and tapped it out. And it seems to be fine. These colors aren't continuing to crumble or anything like that. So they have a really good texture. If you've never used Coastal Scent Shadows before, specifically in the Revealed palettes, let me just tell you, they're really awesome pigmentation. They have a really buttery texture. They do not kick up a lot of fallout. Um, I don't notice that they're exceptionally powdery or anything like that. I will say there's some inconsistencies, you know, not all of the colors are equally as buttery, but they do have a really nice texture. I'll just pull a few colors here so you can see, you know, the colors are really nicely pigmented very shiny and in this palette there's roughly six to seven matte colors there's a couple of colors like here that in the palette look a little bit shimmery but when you do apply them you don't really see that so in the range of about six to seven matte colors the rest are frosty I would say I don't think there are any really glittery colors necessarily so a really good range of colors and I think some really unique colors as well I love these kind of uh, reddish purple colors, these plum colors. I think they're so beautiful if you have kind of lighter brown eyes or if you have green eyes it can be really nice because anything that's going to be that opposite of green like a reddish or pinkish tone really going to make the eyes pop. Also if you have hazel eyes I think it'd be really pretty. So let's get into the demo here so you can see how this applies and I'll do the full face for you because you can see how everything sort of comes together. This is just one look that you could create out of endless looks. I feel like there's a lot of really good shadows in here that you could use for just one color looks. So, you know, just brush all over the lid and go. The look that I'm going to do today will use about five or six colors and it will give you a good idea of the pigmentation and application of these colors. As always, I'm going to start this look with my Fergie Shimmer Eyeshadow Primer. This is from the drugstore. It's under five dollars and it's fantastic. It works just as well as the Urban Decay Primer Potion and it has this really nice champagne color. I'm just running that all the way from lash line to Wow. I'm going to add a color base to this using the Milani Shadow Eyes in Plum Amour. It's just a really nice sort of reddish purple toned chubby pencil that I can lay down first to add a little bit of oomph to the eyeshadow. And I'm just putting that on the outer edge of my lash line up into my crease on the outer like quarter of my eye and then down below the lash line. And I'm going to smudge that out using my Eco Tools pencil brush just along the bottom lash line. And I'm going to go in with my Sigma E25 just to further diffuse that, kind of blending it out towards the eyebrow and creating sort of a rounded shape on the eye. I'm not really wanting it to look like a harsh wing, but just sort of a rounded shape. I'm going in first with this really nice sort of red violet shimmery color from the palette. It's really pretty over that purple base and it sort of deepens it up a little bit. I'm applying it with this Urban Decay brush that came in one of my naked palettes and I'm going under the lash line again using that pencil brush that I used to initially blend it out from Eco Tools. Again, just sort of adding it, adding it, adding it until I get a nice diffused look. I'm sort of bringing it rather low on the bottom lash line because I want it to look really smoky. And then I'm further blending that out with the same E25 brush that I used to blend out the Milani Shadow Eyes pencil. Next up, I'm going to add a little bit more of a reddish tone with this shadow here. And I'm applying that with the E25 just right on the outer edge of that plum color and blending more towards the corner of my eye just to add a little bit of extra color. And I'm going to use that darkest plum color there just to deepen up the very outer edge of my eye just to add a little bit of depth of color there to give it a little bit more of a value range. 
Next up, I tried this sort of silvery taupey color that's in the palette, and I put that right towards the inner corner using the flip side of my Urban Decay brush. It wasn't quite as poppy as I was looking for, so I'm gonna go in with this golden color instead, and I actually used a fixative on my brush before dipping it into the color, and I'm just applying that right to the inner corner. It's much more of a vibrant color that way, and I like it a lot better because it adds a lot of contrast between the purple and the yellow. Those are complementary colors, so it's a really nice contrast between those two. And I'm using my E25 just to sort of blend over that seam so that it doesn't look so harsh. And I'm going in with this tiny little unnamed brush that I have to kind of put some of that on the inner tear duct. I'm gonna blend these two lightest colors together, the cream and the white, to give me a sort of highlight. This is my very favorite brush to use. It's from Sonia Kashuk. It's just awesome for highlighting. And I'm gonna add a small bit of eyeliner using my Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy Classic Tip Liquid Liner. I love this liner so much. I never hear anyone talk about it. It's just the perfect size, really rich black, and the brush tip has just enough give that makes it easy to line with. And I'm just putting that sort of right on the outer, maybe third of my eye, and tapering it in as I come towards the center portion of my eye. I want it to be a little bit wider towards the edge and more tapered and sort of disappearing as it goes towards my inner corner. I'm actually going to go over this with a shadow so it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to use that really deep plum color that I used earlier and an angled brush from Eco Tools. I just wanted to sort of smoke this out a little bit so it's not such a harsh line and those two colors together just make a really nice deep plum. Just for a little bit of added sparkle, I'm gonna use this Jane Liquid Eyeliner in Metallic Lilac. This is actually a really fun eyeliner. I have several of these and they're really shimmery and they have a nice brush tip applicator. I'm just sort of running that along the bottom lash line. It's almost like the name would imply metallic and I'm sort of dabbing it with my finger just so it's not a really harsh line. I hate liquid liner on the bottom lash line so I'm trying to make it a little less intense but I do like that little bit of sparkle that it gives and it goes really well, the tone of this liner goes really well with the eye look that I've created. Next up, I'm gonna add a couple of coats, maybe three coats, of my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I've talked about this a lot. I've done a review and two on it. I just love it. I've been using the heck out of it lately. And I'm just gonna show you one application of it here, but essentially just putting it on my top lashes and it really builds up nicely. I usually put about three coats on and it really gives the perfect sort of intensity, volume, length. It just looks really nice and I can wear it on my lower lash line very easily as well. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't, you know, flake off or anything like that. It's just my favorite mascara right now. And time for the rest of the face. I'm gonna be using my Milani Baked Blush in Delicioso Pink. It's just the most beautiful pink color. I'm usually not that into pinks, but I just absolutely love this color and the texture of it is so lovely. I'm just applying that here with my Real Techniques blush brush, just kind of getting that on the apple of my cheek and blending backwards. I thought this would be a nice way to bring out the sort of pinky tones that I used in the crease on my eyeshadow color. And it's just an excuse to use this blush because it's freaking gorgeous and I love it and I don't wear enough. So just blending that out, really adding a good amount of blush to kind of offset the smokiness of the eye. I'm gonna add just a little bit of highlight here using my Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in Tiki. It's not a bronzer at all, it's totally a highlight, but it's just the most beautiful color. This is sort of a drugstore version of the Balms Mary Luminizer. It's so pretty. I don't think this does it justice when you see it on the camera here. It adds just a little bit of glow to the face. And of course I'm applying that with my e.l.f. tapered brush. I absolutely love this brush for highlighting. I've raved about it before. It's $3. It's fantastic. I don't use anything else for my highlight. I'm running that Tiki highlighter uh, on the tops of my cheekbones, right above the sort of arch of my brow, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And then to finish the look off, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Colorlicious Lip Gloss in the color Plumalicious. I love these lip glosses and I just feel like nobody talks about them. They're just fantastic. They have the most wonderful texture. They're almost sort of watery, if that makes sense. They're not goopy at all, they're not sticky. They usually have a really sheer color application, but you'll see with this one that you can sort of build it up. So this first layer, it is fairly sheer. I mean, it does have that pink effect this sort of cooler toned pink, but I think the more that you add, the sort of more intense the color becomes. Other shades that I have of this are a lot more sheer. I just think this gloss is awesome. It has the most beautiful shine and the texture just cannot be beat. It also smells
smells really nice. And that is the finished look. I love this smoky purple eye. I think it's just so awesome on my eye color. I think it would work for so many different skin tones and eye colors. That pop of gold, if you have amber colored eyes or golden brown eyes, it will really make that shine. And pairing it with this really glossy sort of cooler toned pink lip, I think is a really nice effect. You could also wear it with a nude lip, something that's a little bit glamorous, but not too over the top. So that completes the look. I think it's a really fun sort of plummy, pinky, smoky eye with that gold accent. It's just really nice for a night out to dinner or something like that. I mean, I would wear this during the daytime, but that's just me. I did want to say thank you to my friend Shannon. She actually sent this to me. She's getting married on Monday, May the 4th. Congratulations. And I had actually helped her set up her wedding invitation. And so as a thank you, she purchased this for me. Now this was a I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago that she sent this to me and I'm not sure what the price on it then was. Currently on the Coastal Sense website, it's $19.95. They have sales all the time. I remember when I bought my Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette, they had a special where it was two for 20, so it just depends on when you catch them, what sort of deals they have going on. But $19.95 for 20 eyeshadows, that's roughly a dollar an eyeshadow for this quality and this sort of range of colors, I think is really, really good. If you're considering purchasing maybe one of the new L'Oreal uh, La Palette nudes or whatever, those are almost $20 at the drugstore. And I've heard that those just don't have the greatest pigmentation. I would look to one of these. I just think you get a lot more colors here. The packaging's not as nice. It's just a little cardboard palette, but I think it's great for travel and there's really anything you could ever need in here. It goes all the way from a white and cream color for your highlights all the way to a really dark plum and black for your liner so you really wouldn't even need you know ostensibly you wouldn't even need an eyeliner to go with it you could just use this palette i really recommend it i think it's a fantastic palette and i hope you guys enjoyed this look be sure and click that little box right there to watch my last video follow me on facebook instagram and twitter for all things glamour talk to you guys later bye